have something you never experienced before. This team is in the playoffs. Obviously, not going to sit well. No, I mean it was, it was our own doing, so it, it won't sit well. Um, you know, at the same time, the boys turn around. They battled the last couple of games, and uh, you know, I wish I could have did a better job in the middle of the season and found some way to shake things up and, and get a win throughout that six-game losing streak. Obviously, that was uh, the downfall of our season. So, uh, yeah, disappointing, but at the same time, I think we made a lot of steps forward. Um, Maybe started paid dividends a little bit too late in the season. What happened there with that last possession? Uh, you know, it was, it, Johnny went for a skip pass, uh, sort of made a read, but uh, you know he didn't see the guy stepping back down in the play. Um, you know, maybe maybe he could have went to the crease, maybe he could have did this, maybe he could did that, but it worked out the way it did. And you know, I, I, we want we just wanted an opportunity to to you know tie the game or win the game at the end, and and we had that. So you know, I can't complain too much. Uh, talking about Tavares, you said this morning that it looked like he wouldn't go. Uh, when did you decide that he would be able to play today? Um, you know, he only played on a power play. He didn't. He didn't play a regular shift. But uh, you know, he's such a he's such an influential uh, player on the bench, and and you know, he did a great job last week when he was injured to uh, you know encourage the guys. And I thought he did a great job of that tonight. And you know, it's unfortunate that uh, that our season ended on that play, but. Uh, you know, hopefully, John will be back next year. I know we all want him back, and uh, hopefully, we'll give him a better outcome. Well, got another decent game today, and uh, he made some good saves. Uh, what do you think of him, and then how's Anthony doing? I, Anthony was still uh, after the shoot around this morning. He was pretty uh, dizzy. He came to me, said, "There's no way I can play tonight." So, um, you know, we had to go with Wagger. I thought Wagger, Wagger played really well, made some big stops. Um, and I think we just made a couple of really big mistakes and gave him a good opportunity to score some goals. Um, you know, they, they shot up a little, a little bit better than we did, and that was a difference in the game. The offense seemed to struggle to get inside after that first quarter. Um, was it anything particular their defense was doing with the pressure or just a lack of uh, lack of will to get to the goal? Well, I don't know. If, you know. I think you go back and watch it. They're not a pressure team. They pack it in and they just plug the middle. Um, that's what they do, and they rely on their goalie. Um, you know, like I said, we had a lot of shots knocked down in the, in the second quarter. I thought we had, uh, you know, passed up on a lot of good opportunities trying to get too close to the net. Um, you can score on Matt from the outside. You don't have to be on top of the crease. And I thought we uh, we got into the, you know, trying to force it to the middle, force it to the middle. And that's that's what they do is they plug the middle and they, they give you the outside shots. And, um, you know, for some reason we just didn't want to take them. Small, somewhat a small factor in the game. But Mike Hominick gets called for delay a game when he scoops the ball on the floor. And then in the fourth quarter, one of the Nighthawks did the same thing to you guys. And I don't know if you saw it. And then they ended up scoring. Uh, right yeah, I, thought that. That, I thought they did it twice. But, you know. Hey, it is what it is. We, you should be able to overcome one bad call in a game. I thought the roughing was fine. You know, I thought, uh, you know, our power play was pretty good in the first half, and uh, I don't think uh, we got an opportunity late, and uh, we didn't bury that. That's another opportunity we had that uh, we sort of let slip by. We had a really good chance with Dane right in front of the net, and uh, Matt made a nice save. Um, so, you know, kudos to them. They're a good team, and, uh, you know, their, their record isn't, isn't what that team is, and I think they showed that last year, and, you know, I expect them to make a deep run this year. Darius, you've had a lot of highs in your coaching careers and not many lows. Uh, has this been as frustrating a season as you've had in uh, some time? I uh, no. You know why? Because uh, you know we didn't really. I mean, you, you always expect to, to play for a championship, and, and that's your goal at the start of the season. But at the same time, um, with all the turnover, um, we knew there was going to be growing pains, and we, and we knew we we're going to have to, um, you know, really get this team on the same page. And. You know, I thought we did a good job in the first half of the season, and then uh, you know everything sort of went south for a little while, and then uh, you know we just we just didn't uh, didn't have it by the end of the season. Um, you know everything that's, that that's happened is on us, and uh, you know we can improve upon it. So um, it, it was it was frustrating losing six games in a row, but at the same time I think we grew as a team. I think players grew as individual players, and and uh, you know if I'm lucky enough to come back next year, I, I'd love to coach these guys again. I was going to say uh, you're. You're not the, you're the type of guy that would look forward to that challenge going ahead next year and see see some of these kids develop and take it from there. Yeah, you know, I mean, definitely, definitely, always look forward to a challenge. You don't want it easy, um, then you don't really appreciate it. Um, you know, you want to play the best, be the best, and uh, you know, we, we always look forward to that challenge as Buffalo Bandits, as a coaching staff, as um, you know, veteran players. That's what we look forward to. And you know, this year we just uh, a couple of games we just didn't match up. You know, nothing else this year in this league with everybody so bunched together. The, the line between first and last is uh, minuscule. Yeah, you know, I mean, uh, it, it's really who, who comes out and executes, and, and you know, goaltending is a huge part in, in this in this league. And 
You know, I know uh, Kaz had his struggles early, then, then our defense had his struggles, and our offense had his struggles. We just couldn't get um, 60 minutes of, of all three units going at once, and, uh, you know, that, that really hurt us throughout the, the middle of the season.